Hello and uh, welcome to joint Buffalo State and UB Smart Grid Lab. This lab was funded by the Department of Energy grant as part of the America Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Our institutions are part of the larger consortium consisting of Syracuse University, Clarkson University, University of Rochester, and Onondaga Community College, and of course, University at Buffalo and Buffalo State. Uh, let me demonstrate what our lab can do. My name is Dr. Ilya Grinberg. I'm the project director at Buffalo State. I'm Mohamed Safi uh, I'm the professor, research professor at the University of Buffalo, and I'm the co-director for the Smart Grid Lab. And we want to introduce you the components of this lab. As you can see, here is a solar panel. Uh, we can adjust the light for the solar panel. We can adjust the direction of the sun. From sunrise to sunset. <coughs> and we can adjust the elevation. Or the elevation from uh, winter to summer seasons. So students can adjust whatever condition they are trying to uh, experiment with. <coughs> this set allows advanced photovoltaic studies. A uh, few more modules here. This is another solar set uh, that allows uh, emulation of different conditions and shading. As you can see, it is uh, on right now and with different modes, you can see the amount of power that this set can generate. The solar set is connected to, uh, to the grid through the network inverter. So this is the network inverter. Uh, the utility connection to the system is uh, introduced through a switch. Now, as you can see, we have power from the utility that comes through the circuit breaker to the transmission line. The transmission line represents uh, two uh, possible models. Medium length transmission line, uh, about 90 miles long, this is what you can see now. If we remove the overlay mask, you can see the transmission line uh, with a length of about 190 miles. And the parameters of these lines, of these two models, uh, actually uh, change automatically and change the behavior of the system. Uh, the system is equipped with smart meters. You can see smart meters right now. They are all fully programmable and uh, they have long-term memory. Uh, one of the features of these meters is that they have uh, TCP IP connection. So they act as sensors. The next element in the system is an overcurrent relay. This relay is also uh, TCP IP enabled. Then the next is uh, the circuit breaker. And one of the most important features of the system is a double bus bar system. Uh, as you can see right here, uh, you can uh, reconfigure it uh, based on the conditions of the operations and each uh, load and each source has its own section. Uh, all the units here are also uh, internet enabled. The system is controlled with the supervisory control and data acquisition system. You can see it right here on the big screen. And let me demonstrate uh, the capability uh, of the system. Computer-based supervisory control and data acquisition system is an integral part of this set. As you can see here, uh, the green indicators are showing that the breakers are closed. The red indicator shows that the breakers are open, so we can reconfigure things. So, for example, right now the power is coming from the utility to the bus bar, from the solar power plant to the bus bar, and then we have several consumers connected to these buses. Uh, let's say here is an industrial plant and we want to launch this plant. We just press this button. And the, the motor starts running. The motor emulates the industrial plant. And you can see the change in the voltage levels from 136 to 112 volts 
which is uh, very important to observe. We can stop this uh, load and you can see that the voltage levels go up significantly high. We can also engage another load and watch the change in voltages as the load increases. And now we decrease the load, the voltages change as well. Another important feature of this system is that we can observe the change, the daily variation curve of the load. For example, let's start, let's start this uh, motor again and we will start recording. You can watch the consumption and now we engage the load the consumption goes up now we, we increase the load and the consumption goes up we decrease the load the consumption goes down. Increasing it again. The main feature of this lab is that it is used for uh, experimental part of undergraduate education as well as for research uh, component of uh, graduate education such as on the master's and doctoral level. And we have a uh, doctoral candidate from the University of Buffalo, Ramadan El Moody, uh, who is working in this lab on his uh, experimental part of his doctoral dissertation. Uh, hello, this is Ramadan El Moody. I'm a PhD candidate. Uh, from the uh, Department of Electrical, uh, Electrical Engineering uh, at UB. Uh, as uh, Professor Greenberg said, uh, the best feature of this uh, lab, uh, it can handle the fundamentals of uh, electrical engineering until the highest point of uh, doing a research uh, as I'm doing now in, in this uh, lab. Uh, I'm doing, uh, uh, I'm trying uh, to make the uh, the smart controllers uh, more efficient and to optimize the uh, smart uh, uh, controllers for uh, what you utilize in, in the smart grid.